to another tech tip video and today I'm going to show you how to modify your lights. The fifth tab over is your display manager tab and that's where you're going to find your lights folder. You have three buttons up here, one for viewing appearances, uh, decals, and then the third button is your lights. Probably the easiest way to modify your lights is to right click the lights folder and edit all lights. And what you're going to see are a couple of lights uh, directional lights by default anyway uh, and as you move these around you can see how it updates on the model what I like to do is have some geometry present so that you can see things a little more easily as you move the lights around and therefore uh, get uh, get a good position for those lights once you've done that you can delete the geometry out and save the template and that way they'll always be set uh, to your specifications now for the ambient light, I like to leave that set to right around 0.1, something low. Uh, everyone's going to be different on this, but for the directional lights, I turn the ambient light uh, setting all the way down. Brightness around 0.6, specularity around 0 0.3, 0 0.4. That's how bright the shiny spots are on the model. And then, as far as the light position is concerned, if you check lock to model, then you, as you rotate the model, the lights remain in the same position relative to the model. So it's almost like you're in a room walking around the model and the lights are consistent. If you uncheck lock to model, it's as if the lights are stationary in the room and the model itself is rotating uh, with respect to the lights in the room. So as I mentioned, uh, go ahead and add any lights you want to uh, set up your, uh, your lighting the way that it looks aesthetically pleasing to you. Then save the template the way you normally would. Of course, uh, file, save as, and then just select part template. All right. And once you've done that, when you start a new model, uh, the lights will be where you want them to be. But the last thing I'm gonna mention is make sure that you pick your scene first, whether it's from the favorites list here or whether you use uh, one of the canned scenes over here and adopt it as your favorite. Because as soon as you uh, select a different scene, you're going to find that the lights will update. So you're going to lose your lighting settings. And I'll just pick this one just to show you. See, you can see here now it says directional seven and eight. If I double click another one, it just keeps on increasing as I go. So you definitely want to make sure you find a scene that you like, then alter your lights. Well, thanks for watching. My name is Dave Murray, and be sure to check out the rest of our tech tips on CAD Dimensions website. Don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and our blog for more great content by clicking on the links in the description below.